Hello everybody and welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall. Robert Rambles here and thanks for joining me today. We're at turn 46 here on Lev 6 or Leave 6. And we are trying, among many other things, to actually annex the areas with the Molten Earth Arsenal. Unfortunately, our domain is very small and very far away. And in order to annex that, we're probably going to have to piss some people off because uh, they own some of that land between here and there. So we will see how that goes. In the meantime, you know, we have to keep pushing out. We might want to clear some enemy units from some of the places we're going to try to take. So just trying to figure out what we can do here. Because I don't know how easy it's going to be to get all the way out here and actually claim this stuff. But we'll find out. And I'm not even sure what to do with the guys that are out here. Uh, this group, I kind of want to go in here and see what's going on. Do you want to enter this claimed structure? The structure's already been claimed. Capturing it causes other commanders to gain cast a spell against you, making it easier for them to declare war. Um. Hmm. That's quite a power level advantage. Let's back out. Well, now we know what's in there. Excellent. And I don't know if adjacent units can help us. I don't think they can. Let's see that. No, it doesn't. It's only the one the one unit army you bring in that can actually go in and do combat of any kind, so even this unit is not quite up to par. So we don't have a powerful enough unit yet, basically to go in there and do anything useful. And so yeah, that leaves me kind of questioning what these guys should do up here. No, we don't want to declare war or anything like that. We're definitely just trying to reach an alliance. I don't know if that's going to be possible with them both at war with each other. And we're trying to do this as well, so... Seems like things are just going to progress slowly for a little while. By far, this is my most powerful army, so... If I'm going to annex this, that's going to cause war anyway, isn't it? That's what I don't understand. That's the part that's kind of a, a mystery to me. Like, if I wanted to avoid war, how could I possibly at this point... How could I possibly avoid war at this point? If I need to get over there and annex everything between here and there, you know, we're talking about war at that point. Uh, can I have you join with anybody? Just this drone, but... You could probably get out here and claim this. Production ready. Still can't build a colonizer. We need one more turn. We'll have the 30 Cosmite that we need to build a colonizer. That might make it a little bit easier for us to get over there. If we can just build a colony somewhere over there and then annex from that colony, it might take less time. High altitude wind farms by utilizing the increased wind at higher altitudes. Wind farms built on top of mountains can lead. That's pretty neat. Just gonna go with the uh, the food right now. I could probably use another hero for some power in my armies, but I can't. I can't spare the energy. And of course they want, uh, you know what, I'm going to decline that. 
I don't really care about that NPC faction at the moment. I have too many big boy factions to worry about. Should probably just get this guy joined up over here. As well as this guy. Same thing, we can maybe move him back and fill that army out completely. These guys I just really don't know what to do with at the moment. Production ready. Okay, we can do this now, so let's go ahead. Can I... Uh, like I, I would attack him. Why would I attack him? I just don't want the hero. Can I just say no and not have it prompt me every turn? See, we can annex that, but I don't want to. I want to move out here. And I want to annex this. And then I think we could, I mean, damn, anywhere we do it, it's just going to be bad. Maybe we check out over here. If we can get into one of these zones that don't seem to be claimed, like this, if we can get the colonizer over here, we might be okay. Either way, I think I'm going to colonize this, even if it means going to war, and then we will annex this. Boom. How's that? How's that for a slice of fried gold? You go here. Okay. I'm just worried that when I do that, everyone's gonna declare war on me. But that could happen regardless. But I kind of want to get a few people down this way. Should maybe just park people right here, right in this zone where I want to colonize. See what's there. Not a whole heck of a lot. Which is perfectly all right. I don't really know what I want to do with any of these other guys. Except get them all into a single group. Just take him back over here. Happiness event in colony. Due to the happiness of your population, there's a boost in production income. The colony's production income is increased by 100% this turn. Awesome. Production Col ready. Colonizer's ready. Um, now we can find out how many turns does it take to get way over to the lush dunes. Incoming communication. How many pronouncements do we give here before he's just at peace with us? Nope. The ability to move through this material world ah, like perfect. a ghost leaves questions about the truthfulness of such fables. Are there subtler dimensions, spirits, a heaven and hell? We definitely should do more research. Perhaps our new troops can provide us with test subjects. Perhaps. Alexa Romanov, CEO Wojtek. So this gives us some kind of shielding. Phase shift, abduct, phase shift, evacuate.
It's a unit. Phase shift manipulator. We'll have to look into that. I guess I, when I first looked at it, I thought it was a mod. Let's go into tank core. We could annex this. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We might as well. We're going to get more food or more, more production from it. No reason not to annex it. I don't really have any, any army to team them up with. So we can just head over this way with them. I just need to see what happens when I try to make this a colony, basically. Or are we even going to be able to do that so far from our other colonies? Uh, what do I want to do here? That's a darn good question. We could do some defense turrets in case we end up going to war. That might be a great idea. We could, we could take a quest. We do have some units up there, so we could probably run this army up here and take care of that for them. Maybe. Production ready. Could be worth the rewards. Production ready. That was fast. I have to build one of these to figure out exactly what they can do. Sector annexed. Oh, let's see. My friend, I have a trade for you. May our people leave the dark age behind and prosper together. Let us bring forth peace and prosperity by improving our diplomatic state. It is time we further our peaceful relations and ally ourselves in a defensive pact. Okay. Increasing your diplomatic state with this player means they will be able to call you into war with other players should the need arise. We Let's see what happens. I don't know how this is going to work out. Oh boy, what's he, and he wants the same thing. I'm, I feel like I'm playing these guys. But I'm just playing the game, guys. And so that does not mean that uh, we've reached an alliance somehow. Not sure how, but... Yep, you're gonna keep on moving. A few more turns. <laughs> many, many more turns. I could just go clear out some of these smaller armies, I guess. Next turn, though, when we have move points, obviously.
We're not making much headway on our thousand energy to give away. Or on avoiding the can't end the turn bug either, apparently. All these guys have been told that they're done. But there's always somebody. When I save and load back in, there's always somebody who hasn't received that final command, but it's not prompting us for them. In this case, I don't know. Maybe it was just that hero messing us up. I don't know, but it's pretty annoying when that happens, actually. Confirm movement. Yep, you're going to be going that way for a while. Not forever, but for a while. Uh, I don't have anybody else around to reinforce this group with, but I do think that I am going to go ahead and clear this out. We should be able to do it pretty easily. And without some kind of battle here, it's probably going to be pretty boring of us kind of just trying to move our units around the overworld map. Not very interesting to watch. Alright, this is our pug, so we're going to keep him back here until somebody needs a heal. And we're going to see, maybe we will draw them into a little bit of an overwatch. I don't want to hide behind that. At all, actually. Let's have them come over here, and then they can lay down a turret. Over here, and we'll have the turret overwatch. I'm gonna back them up a bit. And let's see exactly what we're dealing with. Just some uh, plasmoids. So, and then we have an owl. Operations ready. We should be fine. They're obviously going to be very trepidatious to do much of anything. We might have to draw them out. I think they're going to blow that thing up behind me, but uh, I guess we'll see. Let's do that and give them some extra cover. Huh, wow, they uh, they don't want to come at us. That's spectacular. Somebody is going to have to commit eventually. Just saying. And it's probably going to have to be us, the way things are going. Well, they, they move forward. That's good. And we have to remember these guys have the lashback, so we don't want units in close to them while we're taking shots. We will damage our own units, even with overwatch shots, actually. So this could start to suck in a minute. Okay, we didn't trigger any other overwatch shots, thankfully. Okay. Don't want to be that close. I definitely don't want these guys that close either. Unfortunately, they have melee overwatch. It doesn't matter, I have to get away from them.
If I don't get away from them, nobody can attack them. I can get him in here to heal. That's better. Such awful shots. I'm not really certain why the shots are so awful. I mean, we are sort of like right next to this guy. I don't know why we need to have only a 45% chance to hit, but back here is better. Let's put maybe the covers in our way. I don't know, but that's pretty good. You're like 30%? Uh, no. Enemy neutralized. Uh, I don't even want to overwatch with this because if he moves with the melee. Yikes. Well, that's not what you like to see at all, but we're going to lose that unit. Definitely. Bye bye, Damn. Paragon Soldier. Another needless casualty. can't deny taking an 80% shot, you know, like that's, I'm going to take the shot. Uh, I have no good shots on this guy over here, so. Enemy neutralized. Plasmoids are very hard to hit, apparently. Maybe because they are so small, I don't know. Forty percent was enough to do Enemy it. Enemy killed. That's fine. Our forces are victorious. Don't know how much we needed the production, or if we needed that unit to be alive more. Production ready. Yeah, the thing is, I don't want to, I don't want to be spending energy. That's the main thing. Just keep generating energy, please. might actually be a good place to take a break. I might do a little bit of expanding out and maybe at least get our colonizer over to the fields here and start building our colony on my own because I'm sure watching us trek it across the overworld map, knowing that all we're really doing is waiting to get our colonizer uh, over there is probably not very exciting. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Oh, let's see, who's this guy? Well, he looks awesome. Il Seville, the Avatrix, wants to join you. Amazon, level 5. Very interesting. I like seeing the different heroes. Again, I'm not going to spend... I'm not going to spend the 200 energy on it right now. Because we have energy goals. We're almost there, so... Next episode, we should be able to claim this as a colony and then hopefully annex the Molten Earth Arsenal. I don't know if we're going to have to do the same on the other side. If we do, that's going to be quite a task. We'll see. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the support. Take care now and wish me luck.